packed my bag. I'm on my way. Brand new city. Um, yeah, here we are, man. It feels like very uh, beach town. And we're going to see some different things too as well. So this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, just picked me up. It was about an hour flight to get here. And I'm on to the next one. Let's do it. My driver's here to pick me up. Got my name already waiting for me at the airport. Smooth flight. Here we go. Let's do it. What's up, everybody? This is Backpack Mo. I am in a brand new city. Um, I just left Saigon. Um, I was there for about a week or so. A little bit close to a week, almost a week. Anyway, um, and I just arrived in Da Nang today, actually. Um, maybe about 20, 30 minutes ago. All right, welcome back, everybody. So we are here in front of a, there's a coffee shop that we have is our meeting point for the tour that I'm supposed to go on today. Um, they said everybody should meet here around two o'clock. I got here a little early, so you guys can kind of just see the, the scenery, scenery of uh, what's going on over here too as well. Uh, part of me, like what I said, it is hot outside. Um, it's about, right now, 97 degrees. So, plus humidity. Uh, this has probably been one of the hottest I've been since I've been here. Just, uh, just the other days, it's, it's, we've had, we have no rain today, so that's another reason why I'm feeling the heat. But whatever, it is what it is. We gotta pass through it, and uh, we'll wait for our tour guide. Her name is Miss Trang. That's what it said in the message. So she's supposed to meet uh, me here, or me, or I guess whoever in the group. It could be just me. Um, I don't know exactly, but we're gonna take a, like a boat cruise today. Uh, actually, I really don't know what I'm doing. Got it for sure. Um, this was all set up by uh, a friend of mine in, uh, in Saigon. Uh, she pretty much booked the homestay for me and just said, I know that you want to see a lot of uh, things about history and culture. And so she was like, I just let her take the wheel and um, she's going to just, she set up everything for me. You know, even booked my flight to get out of here. So uh, I'm waiting. Like I said, I'm here early. It's about like 1 30, 1 40 ish. Uh, it's fun of this little coffee shop. But very nice area. Um, nice area, I get nice chill people. I mean, I do, I was getting harassed a little bit. I mean, but the, the hustle over here is mainly for people trying to sell you uh, clothing items that they make. Instead of just selling you like trinkets or things like that, it seems like everyone here has their own shop in which they're doing custom tailoring and things like that too as well. So, I mean, of course, if you're a foreigner or a Westerner, you're going to get stopped and people want to ask you, you know, you just, uh, if you stop, then, you know, they got you. You got to either keep on walking or say no thank you or kindly you just do it. But I get it out here. Everyone's got to make a, a, a dollar. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's just part of the culture, you know. I, I think any any uh, major city or type of area that you go to, especially if it's like a foreign country, just, the hustle is always there to, you know, push and sell products. Um, or people invite you to their restaurants or things like that. So, um, but it's very walkable too. And if you had a bike, this would be perfect too. Um, a motorbike or even um, a bicycle. That's the great thing about it. It's not as busy as the uh, as Saigon. You actually can cross the street, you know, <laughs> without worrying about getting killed or, or getting hit too as well. So right now, like I said, we're waiting for um, our um, our guide to get here. In the meantime. I'm just chilling, sitting under some shade, because like I said, it is hot. Um, you know, the best thing to do is stay hydrated when you're out here too as well in the sun. No thing you don't want to be passing out or not uh, getting enough fluids and liquid in you too as well. So I'm under the shade, I'm waiting for the guide to get here, and then once she gets here, we'll, uh, we'll go off and see how everything is from there. So uh, until then guys, yeah. All right, guys, this is your boy Backpack Mo. We are here, right, in Hoyan. Uh, Hoyan, all right, and I'm with my tour guide, Jackie. Yeah. It was supposed to be, yeah, I guess, a bigger group, but it's just you and myself, yeah, right? Got a one. So I got a private tour, yeah. you know, and she's gonna show me around. Uh, we're in the Old Town right now, right? Yeah, that's right. We're gonna old go town. Old Town and then some other sites, some other places too, that's as well. Right, yeah, we visit the Old House, the Japanese bridge, yeah. and uh, a lot of like uh, Chinese uh, temples. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah. Show, show, show. Lead the way. Okay. This is really cool. The first place, the Japanese bridge. Uh huh. Japanese bridge. This oh. is the symbol of Hoya. This is the, this is it right here. The Japanese bridge. Yes. Okay. So let me turn around so you guys can kind of see 
what it is over here, and then we're gonna go through the bridge. So, let's go. All right, all right. Okay. Oh, this is very nice. Oh, wow. It's, but it's still good and it's still good condition. It's look very new. Yeah, it looks very new. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, okay. This is the oldest building in the whole area. Oh, okay. So this, this is you said this is the symbol of the of the city, right? Yes, right. The symbol of the city. So if you go to Hoi An Old Town and you don't visit the Japanese bridge, this one, that right. means you've never been. You've never been. You haven't visited. Okay. Yes, right. <laughs> you have to call. So do a lot of people come to here, like to like you know couples? Do they come and stay and watch it? Right. Like that? Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So long times ago, it's around 16th century, mm -hmm. many uh, like uh, Chinese and Japanese people they were here. Because long time ago, around 16th century, Hoi An was a trading place, okay. trading port. A lot of traders from other countries came here. Uh, the biggest communities were Chinese and Japanese. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So they came here, they did trading with local people. They trade goods, uh, they're like wood, silk, ceramics here. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And long time ago, we said that's that side. Right. Where we right came from, yeah. Yes, uh -huh. right. That's right. Chinatown. Okay. Another side. Okay. So, so when Japanese people they were here, they build this bridge to connect two sides together. Got it. Easy to do trading together. Okay. The reason why we call this one Japanese bridge. Okay. Because so Japanese people they build it. So uh, this is the uh, Chinatown, Chinatown and this is the Japanese side. side. Japanese side. Do, do a lot of Japanese people still live here? Uh, in around late 18th century because we uh, make the close policy. So we close the border of the country. So okay. no any foreigners. Okay. Okay. Uh, at that time, from that time until now, only Hoi An is living here. Okay. No any Chinese, no any Japanese living here now. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, only Hoi An is Okay, but the bridge is still here, it still symbolizes that. That's right. Give it a little bit so of the So the architecture, nine times flooding in one year. Wow. Yes. Uh, two years ago, yes, two years ago. And last year in 2021, it's very low around here, this level. So, okay, this level. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, not too high. So they didn't mark it last year, but two years ago, yeah. It's lowest uh, compared to other years, so okay. <laughs> do they have a system to, um, like, so if the water comes in, do they have like a, like a duct to push push the water out? Like, do they, like, do they drill like, you know, holes inside of the, the building to, if the water comes in to, do you know what I mean? Yes. Like yes. a, like a levee? To, they don't have it here. Okay. It's like the old traditional city. Right, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. They don't have it here. Okay. And you know, because this area is very low, it's very, very low, uh, lowest area in the whole way. And so water easy to come, it's rain like three days, mm -hmm. like rain three days in a row, like three or four days in a row and flooding here is very easy. And they don't have good, like um, the, uh, like the system to like to, 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 to absorb the water or something right, like right. that. So okay. very bad here, very bad here. Gotcha. But we used it, we used to it. Uh -huh. okay. This this house because long times ago they used this house for trading. The reason why at the back of the house the door you see the back door is face the river, so that the boat the the ship can come close for like selling and buying goods. Yeah, but when Hoi An Old Town was not the trading port anymore, mm -hmm. so this position of the house is very bad. Yeah, but it, it, time, it, it, know, it still looks good time. to me. <laughs> so the, the secret is the wood. So I answered yeah, my own right, question. Right, right. I was like, how did it, how is it still standing? How are a lot of these things? Yeah, but you yeah, know, yeah. we answered that question earlier. Mm. The secret is the, the strong wood that's been able to stand the test of time and, and go through all of that. Because if it was this regular wood, none of this would probably yeah, be right, here. Right. It's a very long time. It's yeah. broken a little bit, but, but uh -huh. okay. But yeah, it's still very strong. You hear that? Solid, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh -huh. So if you want to build a house, just use this wood. But you have to choke it under the yes. mud. Yeah, they're so good. For, the, for, for a long time. For well, a couple ten months. Years, oh, okay. Years. okay. Well, then, yeah. Time. <laughs> All right. So you can keep it long. Okay. If you just use the wood, like you shove the wood in, in under the mud for one year, it cannot keep like 200 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, so start now. If you want to build a house in 10 years, start soaking the, the, the wood <laughs> under the mud. Okay. That's what I'm doing. I'm starting yes, to build yeah. my house. My father is a fisherman, so mm -hmm. he, he, he told me. The, the 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 secret maybe the we call the secret uh, method to build the strong boat and strong house that they shook the wood under the mud. Okay. Yes, my father. His he has the big boat at home, 
and the same methods. They soak it under the mud before they okay. use the, the boat. So they so they they, they put the wood under the mud, right? For, and then and, and the is the mud and the mud is wet too? Yes, right. And then the mud dries or Yes, right. The okay. mud dries and then after ten years like that it's So it's buried under yes, it. Right. Okay. Yes, right. And make it strong. So for my father boat it can last for around uh fifty, sixty years. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of fish. Yeah. A lot yeah. Of fish. <laughs> yeah. Yes, right. <laughs> All right, guys, so she's gonna go grab me a herbal tea. Uh, this restaurant that's right across from us is called Mot, M-O-T, and she said it's basically, you only can find it here in Hoi An. Um, it's a very herbal tea that has like lemongrass, cinnamon, um, some fresh herbs, a whole bunch of things. So she's grabbing me a, a, either a sampler or either a glass itself. So uh, yeah, I'm always up for trying new things. So let's see what it tastes like. Hot. Mot, M-O-T, and then, so what's inside of it again? Uh, cinnamon. Okay. Lemongrass. Okay. Uh, lotus seed and secret. Okay. Secret ingredient. They, they didn't tell us. Yes. Because they keep the secret recipe. Exactly. They don't want you to go back. And there's a lotus flower on top, right? Yeah, the lotus. Okay. Yes. And bamboo straw. Bamboo straw. Yes, right. Very fresh. Well, that's really good. Yeah. You know. In the afternoon time, around 4 p.m., a long line, yeah. waiting for one cup like this. Oh, wow. Yeah, 20 minutes waiting for just one cup like this. Wow. It's very famous. Yes. So, Mott is the name of the, the tea or the, or, the, or the place? The Mott is the name of the tea. Okay. Uh, it means cool. Cool. Yeah. Like cool That's how I feel. the body. Yeah. Cool yeah. The body. This is, it, it, it's so hot outside. <laughs> so, this is the perfect, yes, right, the right. perfect drink. Uh, and it's like a natural trigger too, right? Yeah. No, that's uh, the cinnamon? We don't know. Oh, okay. We just know cinnamon, lemon crust, uh, uh -huh. low, low dust seed, and they just tell us that. Yeah. They don't share us, the, they don't share us. It's either like sugar cane or either the cinnamon is, is sweet. I don't I don't know what it is, but it's <laughs> it's not overly sweet. It's yes, nice, right, yes. nice and cool. Yes, right. I could drink this all day. Oh my gosh, shout out to Mott. Thank you guys so much, man. Mott just means cool, but cool. Like cool in, in Hoi An accent. Okay. In East Saigon accent, it's called Mott. 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 But this mm. one, Mott in Hoi An accent. Because okay. each area, they have different like, uh, way. Dialects and stuff like that. Right, okay. the word. So yeah, if you guys come here, you, you have to come here to get it. It's the only place to get it. This is what it looks like. Right here, boom. Oh, Try it out. All right, it's delicious. Thank you so very much. Like